welcome to BBC News. My name is Callum and this is Ava. Our first story is about Lizzie Armistead's beginning career at Prince Henry's Grammar School and how she has come on to become a cycling legend. Now we go over to our reporters where Lizzie's career started. Hello, this is Alex. I'm Dylan, reporter from Prince Henry's Grammar School in Otley. Lizzie Armistead continues to top the women cycling leaderboards and is the current world champion. Still standing high, she continues to amaze people when she placed in two of the events in the UCI's Women's World Series. She also competed against Chantal Black and Megan Guarnier and other well-known cyclists at Poulet, France. Also, she competed in the Philadelphia Cycling Class and Trofea Alfredo. Lizzie attended PHGS and found a cycling career when she took part in a cycling class where she discovered her natural talent for cycling. Lizzie strives to maintain this impressive streak with Miss Temple, who teaches at Prince Henry's Grammar School, where Lizzie went to school. So, what was Lizzie like? Okay, Lizzie was a, a very sporty individual um, from the onset, so in year seven we could see that she had a real passion and a real talent for sport. Did you ever think Lizzie could reach this far? Oh, I definitely thought that Lizzie could go all the way to the top. Once that she was um, selected by uh, British Cycling, I knew she had what it took to be a champion. She was very uh, determined, very enthusiastic, very driven, um, and she definitely had the, the right mindset to be, uh, to be a champion. Um, did she do well in any other sports? Or? Yeah, Lizzie was very sporty when she was at school. She was very um, keen in PE lessons. She got herself in, involved in as many sports teams as she could. Um, she was a very good cross-country runner, a very good swimmer. Um, she had an excellent degree of cardiovascular endurance, which suited most of those types of activities. She was a member of the school hockey team and the school netball team. But I think once she found cycling, that's where um, she found her real passion for sport. Could you see that she had an obvious passion for cycling? Um, it wasn't clear that she had a passion for cycling at the start. Um, it wasn't until British Cycling came in uh, into schools in the area. Uh, we were fortunate enough to have uh, them come into school and there were several tests that the students took part in. Uh, one was an endurance cycle uh, and one was a sprint. And she got extremely good results from those um, and then went on uh, to have the best results in Leeds and the best results in West Yorkshire. For, from that point onwards, when British Cycling got home about, it was very, very clear that she, she had a passion and a real talent for cycling. And obviously she started uh, indoors and then moved on the road. Yeah. Well, thank you for your time. And here, we are here with Sasha Kitchen, who's a part of the Prince Henry's cycling team. So, as you enjoy cycling, do you think you'd turn it into a career one day? Um, maybe, yeah. I think I would. Because the money's pretty good and I think it's quite like, well you know, kind of shown and it's good like with all the local races and everything, it's yeah. quite nice to sort of arrive on. Would you do like road or like mountain or what would you do? I think I'd be on the road or on the velodrome tra track. Yeah. The... Do you enjoy cycling? Yeah, it's good. It's like a sense of kind of freedom because you're kind of going pretty fast. You can go like 20 miles an hour and stuff on long straight roads and it's just it's quite a team sport as well if you like yeah. do you have any inspiration that anyone inspired you to become um Lizzie Armstead from Laura Trot yeah because Laura Trot's now got more um medals kind of things than Chris Hoy and think that's a yeah. girl has any achievements that you've um I came third and it'll be very good yeah that's good thank you and we wish you the best. Thank you for that inspirational report on Lizzie's success. Now we go over to Kate and Caitlin to hear a touching story of friendship and passion. We are here reporting today from Otley to talk about Rob Lowry, a volunteer from Otley who went to France and was begged to take a young girl back to Leeds. The 49-year-old former soldier travelled over to a French refugee camp and said he was helping to build shelters for them. He met the father of Barba in the infamous jungle refugee camp in Calais. Lowry bonded with the girl and had a very strong connection with her and her family. Baha's desperate father pleaded for Rob to take Baha back to Leeds where she had relatives. It was an act of charity that was seen as smuggling. In court he stated, I saw his desperation for a better life for his child. The little girl fell asleep on my knee and I couldn't leave her there. I'm sorry. He hid Baha in a small compartment above the driver's seat, but what he didn't know was that two other refugees had hidden themselves in the back of his van. At the border, sniffer dogs found two refugees and Lowry had to admit having Baha as well. 
back to Callum and Ava at the studio. Thank you for that emotional story. That's it for this evening, so good night.